What do we have today? First, and using not the right knife, we have something, a module. It looks like a current transformer. And it doesn't want to come out. Yes, indeed, you put a wire through here and you can sense the AC current. And there's a 358 op amp and some sort of adjustability and an output, presumably. And we have a couple of grounds, power and an output. We have an adjustment pot. So you throw a wire through there and you can measure the AC current up to 5 amps and read it. I haven't used one of these yet, but I figured it would be something good to experiment with. Here's the module set up. I'm powering it from a 5 volt bench supply. And I have a little transformer here with a resistor load across it. And one of the wires is going through the current transformer. So here I can measure the current through this load and I can see the output voltage on this sensor. It's measuring AC current and AC voltage because we do have a sine wave voltage source. So now I'm going to power up that transformer. I'm drawing about 842 or so milliamps AC and I'm measuring 1.1 volts AC RMS. So I'll turn that off just so I don't cause any short circuits with all this mess. Ultimately, I'd want to put this on an oscilloscope, but I haven't fully set up the work area yet. So I just wanted to see that it actually gives some sort of output with some sort of reasonable current through it. I'll look more into how to use this sensor later. This doesn't have a description as well that I can read in English. So it's a mod. It looks like an ESP, ESP32. ESP32 Rover E. And I did recently make a PCB with a different ESP module with the onboard audio codec for doing sound processing or other things like recording, playback. So I'm just expanding my collection of things that I can put on circuit boards. This also has no usable description, but it looks like SD micro PCB surface mount sockets, which will come in useful, of course, in projects where I put an ESP32 module on a board and I want to have a memory card either to record data onto or even record sound and store onto it or play back from it. I kind of remember ordering things like this all at the same time, but it's been a while since I've seen a lot of these packages I ordered, so I'm rediscovering everything. Uh, this one is from March 2021, and it's described as pipe fittings. I remember some other time this year opening up pipe fittings that weren't pipe fittings. Well, these are little push buttons. Different colors. Now, of course, these are useful for PCB projects, but even possibly breadboard. Let's see. I have endless uses for things like this. Like if I have a circuit board doing audio projects, I can press different buttons to play back different sound samples or something, like a little drum module. Well, that definitely fits in there and it doesn't pop right back out. But is this in enough to make contact? so that I could actually use it from the breadboard. Yes. Okay. So those are gonna make life a little more easy when I have many buttons. We have black, blue, red, green, yellow, orange, white. I don't know if there's even more in there, but uh, that's a lot of colors for any number of small projects. So I'm very happy with that. I don't know how many are in here, a hundred. And now I need to make some room for this Amazon package. Pull to open. I never saw this before. I have a couple of things in this one. So first I'll get this one out of the way. 
Amazon Basics. It's basically some guitar patch cables, right angled, quarter inch, and they are six inch just for connecting things, effect pedals that are right beside each other. And of course, I needed this so that I could make a minimum order for free shipping for this. So, ooh, I can reuse this Velcro cable tie because... Let's take a look on the other side of the basement. I've been going through everything now that I finally can unpack, and I'm trying to sort out all the cables. I will never need this many RCA cables again, but in the meantime, I'm using Velcro on as many as I can Velcro. And while we're on tour, let's look for some stuff. Okay. So these patch cords being this short, when you've got a bunch of pedals all sitting next to each other, of course you need to plug them in and that's all you need. You don't want it to be too cluttered. So I thought I would give these a try, see how they go. If they are noisy, if they fall apart, become intermittent. And also, how do they do being this extra wide sort of form factor? How do they do with things right beside each other? So I can't make them fit like this, but that's when I would just use something else. Most of the things I have are just one in, one out, so it'll do for now. But this is what I really wanted from Amazon. In keeping with getting the workbench set up, I need a better way to control the overhead light here. So, these come in a package of five. I'm going to take one of these out of this pack immediately to put to use. So, we have a receptacle and a regular light switch kind of thing here on this one standard wall receptacle format. But I'm going to wire this up so that this switch controls the hot connection to this outlet. And then I don't have to deal with this. I'd rather just have a light switch on the wall. So instead of having this extension cord and then running onto the power bar, I'm just going to have a receptacle and a switch right here. Plug this in, and then I can turn it on and off from there. No more chain. So there's a lot of useful things, as usual. Things I need to put to use right away to solve some immediate problems. Future PCB project parts for ESP32. And ongoing recreation. Thanks Patreon supporters for helping finance all of this stuff and help me get set up, getting the things I need. Thanks for watching. Come back, see what I end up doing.